morning. It is Ambitious Queen. To know me is to love me and to love me, you must know you. To know you, you must love you. How's everyone doing today? I pray that you all are having an amazing day, an amazing week. I know the morning just started. My morning started very early, of course, and I'm learning. Every day I'm learning. I'm learning that the more I wake up earlier to take time for myself before I rush into my routine, the more rested I feel. Like it's literally an hour before I have to go to work. An hour before I have to go to work and I'm already I'm already up, you know, like I'm already ready. Like I can pull in right now, that type of thing. And I think that came with the discipline that I've been on recently in terms of going to sleep on time, making sure my goals are in line with what schedule I'm on instead of back in the day I used to try to do all my goals just randomly not at no set time so I'm learning to schedule every time of the day every second of the day counts everybody is given a 24 hours of what they would like to do with their time we can't get those 24 hours back it's not something that we can save and accrue and it rolls over to the next day so I'm learning to take every second seriously, every minute seriously, every hour. And I just want to say to you all today, share something nice with someone that you haven't done in a while. Whether that is a piece of advice, a meal. There are a lot of hungry people out here these days. I don't know. Every time I drive on the road, I see homeless people everywhere where I live at. Um, but aside from that, a note of gratitude will help fix your attitude. And as I'm learning how to overcome my attitude and not attitude as in like I have an attitude, but my attitude, I'm learning how to reflect on a lot of things faster than dwelling on a situation and then living in that emotion of whatever came with that. Sometimes I feel like from an adolescent, we don't know how to express how we feel and I'm on this journey in this path where I am now learning how to overcome and embrace those feelings part of my spiritual journey of sharing with you all is of course being transparent with you all and letting you know how I can relate to you all because we all share the same circumstances or situations but in different perspectives we view them differently that's the that's the only thing that's different Something can happen to me and can happen to you, but I looked at it differently. You looked at it differently. Two different views, you know? So, as we are on our journey today, I encourage you to grab onto your brother, grab onto your sister, lift them up in their spirits, because we don't know what, where they're at mentally, uh, physically, emotionally, and I think it's very important to share that love with one another. And that's free information. That's free love. Like, so many times people have to pay for their happiness. Well, they think they do. They don't know that happiness starts within. But so many times we get caught up in thinking that we have to wait for the right moment to do something. Just do it. Just do it. Like Nike say, just do it. Just go. When you see somebody, I don't care if you don't know them, compliment them. Let them know their makeup looks really nice. Their haircut looks really nice. That outfit looks really nice. Those things are important because it brings us happiness because what you see in others is what you see in yourself. So if you don't want to say nothing to nobody, you just don't want to say nothing to yourself. But if you want to say something to somebody and you want to reflect, it's important for you to get past that fear that you think of, of rejection. So my message for you today is to appreciate the journey as I'm appreciating. Sometimes, as I said in my prayer today with my daughters, Sometimes I don't want to grow. Sometimes I don't want to get up early in the morning. But that's not my problem. That's not that's not something that I have a choice to do. And if I would like to live the life that I want to live, it comes with sacrifices and disciplines and allowing me to acknowledge where I know I need help at, allowing me to know and acknowledge where I need growth at. And it feels really really good. Like I feel like I don't know, have you ever felt like you had a cloud on your shoulder? 
like the, the the cloud is following you you just have like a lot of stress like something is pulling you down I, I feel more relieved now than I did before because I felt like I was carrying other people's expectations but now I'm on this path and this journey of spiritual development where I'm taking it a day at a time I was in a rush to hurry up and retire by 30 years old honestly I was in a rush to hurry up and own my businesses right now because I feel like I want to be living this successful life where I don't have to worry about nothing. As I mentioned on my last video, make sure you go watch it on YouTube, um, I'm appreciating the journey because I don't want to flatline. I want to continue to have a heartbeat so I can continue to help others' hearts beat so that they can elevate themselves to a higher elevation other than what we see every day other than what we feel every day and the spirit that is inside of us well no matter which god that you serve god is god no matter what name you call him by we refer to him as a law but a law is god so i think it's very important to be aware to be in tune with yourself and to share that gratitude of appreciation of where you are in life right now and to share it with others because energy transfers it doesn't erase it doesn't go away it doesn't die energy transfers so the more you are positive with one another or even people that you don't know or you share your light with someone else as the light shines on me <laughs> as you learn to share your light with others you will learn how energetic you will feel you will learn how Abundance will just come back to you in multiple folds because you were willing to be nice. Like your your song is your your, your song. Your tongue is a sword, so what you put out into the universe comes right back to you. So if you say, "Oh that mf uh, cut me off," or "Oh that mf," uh, you know, if you just get to that point where you just want to cut somebody cut somebody out, the minister Farrakhan teaches us. If that person was not nice enough to know that you were first and they were there first, let that person go. And I know it must be really big of us to think in that manner, like, oh, really? Let that person go? Yes, it's very big of you to think that. And it's very important for you to think that. Why? Because we, again, don't know what another person is going through. So all we have control of is our emotions so it's important for you not to move yourself or allow others to move your emotions based off their actions let our actions as long as it's positive move us into the direction of where we need to be and if our actions are or our emotions are not on a positive perspective at the moment allow yourself to rise above your emotions into the intelligence of thinking so that you can overcome that situation so this is ambitious queen uh, to know me is to love me and to love me you must love yourself and to know you you must love you I'm so happy to speak with you all it brings me joy that I get to speak with you all I don't have to speak to you all I get to speak to you all and make sure you tune in to Minister Farrakhan's um, response back tomorrow I will go ahead and post the link so that way you all can tune in if you don't know now you know uh, Facebook has banned Minister Farrakhan for the teachings that he has been teaching us and what Islam has done for me has saved my life has saved my mother's life if you know our story if you know what we went through you would know why we stand with Farrakhan this man has been a father to me for years and I'm talking about on the level of where when I didn't even want to listen to him, I still had to listen to him because truth is truth. And that is all that the minister talks about is truth. So if you're addicted to truth, like I'm addicted to truth, if you want growth, like I like growth, I highly recommend that you listen to Minister Farrakhan, the teachings. Don't listen to what Google tells you or what other people tell you about Farrakhan, but listen to him himself. You have white people, you have all people all across the world listening to him, standing up for him. So we don't live in those times anymore where people used to say, oh, the minister hates white people. No, he doesn't hate white people. He hates liars. He hates the fact that 
he doesn't even hate he just dislikes because hate is a very strong word we don't like the fact when we are being misled in a wrong direction that is killing our people and when i say our people i'm not just talking about black people i'm talking about all of us there is a lot of activities stuff in the food the way that we have to go to these jobs, the stipulations, the, the way the government is set up. It's so many things as to the, the strategy that they have to kill us. But the way that they sell us on it, making us think that it's life, it's not life. But if you listen to the teachings of the Nation of Islam by the leaders from Master Farad Muhammad to Elijah Muhammad to our Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, you will then learn to unlearn what we were taught and to learn something different that will help us gain the knowledge and integrity that we need to help build ourselves, our children, and our community. So, I love you all. 